Hey there, this is John here from JohnLumer.com and John Loomer Digital. I'm here to talk to you about a tool I just created called Facebook Insights Helper. Now, Facebook Insights is a terrific tool, really, that's underutilized um, by Facebook marketers. And, and really, the reason for that is pretty simple. It's just so difficult to digest, so much information, no one's really sure what to do with it. So, I, I guarantee you, most marketers don't even get to this point of exporting the data and seeing what we're looking at right here. But even when they get this far, it's just it's so overwhelming and they don't know what to do with it. And this is just one tab. There are multiple tabs. This is just post-level data. You can also get into page-level data as well. So I was inspired to create a tool that would make it nice and easy for you. So all you'd have to do is copy and paste this entire key metrics page. Um, just select all and copy it and paste it into my document and would spit out all kinds of useful information so you wouldn't have to do any digging. All right, so how do you do it? Uh, first of all, you go to johnloomer.com slash Facebook Insights Helper and you download this document. All right, so a little background on, on what it does for you. It's, I want you to take 150 days, all right, 150 days uh, period on your Facebook page. And the reason for that, one week is not enough. A month, two months, even three months really is not enough to really, to get a great sense for trends with your Facebook page. So I want you to go back 150 days if you can. Um, Facebook does limit you to 500 posts within the export, but most people, um, you'll be okay. All right, One something else I do is this document scrubs out all promoted content. And the reason for that is I don't want any any posts that you promoted to skew, to skew your results. And that's exactly what it'll do. I, I want you to focus only on your organic results to really determine what's working and what's not. All right, so first thing, um, you want to determine a 150-day window uh, period that you're go going to um, take a look at here. I highly recommend, first of all, that you, your end date be about a week before today, whatever that day is. So go to the spreadsheet, enter in an end date, even if I were to change it to 10, 2, 12, excuse me, 10, 2, 12, it would automatically change the start date. Okay? So we'll go with 10, 2, and 5, 5. And, and again, the reason why I say about a week before is so that you have data that's as close to final as possible because some of the more recent stuff is is still being updated to be frank all right so you've got that information five five and two two excuse me five five and ten two go into your facebook page that insights box click see all click export data post level remember what dates we said five five and 10 to go ahead and download all right so now we have our document so what you want to do is you want to select all everything on this key metrics tab so you can do that by just clicking this corner up here right clicking hit copy whatever you got to do to select all and copy then you're going to go back to Facebook insights helper go to the paste tab Go ahead and paste it within that first cell where it says start paste here. And that's it. So now you've got these tabs for daily trends, weekly trends, and monthly trends. And so as you can see here, um, this is where you select. So don't touch anything first of all unless it's orange. So uh, you can select here all this different type of data. Um, and then it automatically creates a chart for you. And you'll notice that some of this zeros, that could be because you didn't post anything that day. It could also be because I've scrubbed out the promoted post. If you're promoting something, um, that's been removed. So go ahead, check it out. You got daily, weekly, monthly. Some really useful information here. Um, a lot of this is stuff that you already find within Insights, but I just make it easier to digest. But I've also added a few like non-fan categories here as well. So that's it. Enjoy. And uh, once you subscribe to this, um, I will also get you any updates as they come along. 
Um, this is just phase one of this document. I hope to make it great, even better down the line. So certainly if you have any suggestions for um, maybe some stats or, or other, other items that are missing from this, uh, give me a shout either at facebook.com slash John Limber Digital or send me an email at john at johnlimber.com or track me down on my website, johnlimber.com. All right, thanks. Now enjoy.